Hello guys and welcome back to the bench and it's a big one today. We are going to test all kinds of clear coatings over chrome paint. In this case all clad chrome paint. Uh, I will show myself painting the chrome on one spoon and then the rest have already been coated. I let them sit for a good part of the week. I've tested a bunch. I've sprayed a bunch and what I'm going to do is we're going to spray, I figured I peeled off three here on the end. We'll, we'll, I'll show you myself painting three of them. And then the rest will just go over with the results as I let them dry uh, for some time so we can see the end results. And uh, for the test, we have Pledge. This is a floor gloss. A lot of people recommended it. I've used it a few times. And I do plan on doing a video on using Pledge. It does work pretty good, which is quite similar to the good old Aqua Gloss which is the recommended product from All Clad. I've already done a video on it, but we're revisiting it. Tester's Gloss Coat. I'm gonna try a spray can, so I grab this Krylon Shortcuts High Gloss Tamiya Enamel X22 Gloss Clear. Tamiya Lacquer LP9 Clear. This is from AK Interactive. This is Intermediate Gauzy Agent. I believe uh, they just copied uh, this all clad, both uh, the European products, and uh, it looks like just it's a smoky version of Pledge. Um, the old floor gloss used to actually look like this, but it dried clear. It looks like the same product. We'll find out. Model Master Gloss Clear Lacquer Finish, Micro Gloss Clear Finish for Models. This is an acrylic, non-yellowing formula. Vallejo polyurethane gloss varnish. First time I'm trying this, I have all three. I have the gloss, the semi, and the matte. So I'm dying to see how this works. Metal varnish, I've tested this before. Again, it kind of looks like this, but it did perform a little differently. Model Master sealer for metalizer. I figured we'd give that a shot. Airbrush only. All these are going to be airbrushed, except for the can, obviously. All right, these are the ones we're going to spray on a, on camera. Super Clear 3 for Mr. Color. Uh, for the record, hold on, guys. I also have 112 Super Gloss Super Clear UV Cut. 113 Flat Super Clear UV Cut. 114 flat super smooth clear so I mean there's a there's a ton in this lineup um, I picked one I took the first one in the lineup of number 100 super gloss clear number three all right Tamiya clear x22 and this just came in I had to order this from Korea or Taiwan got it off of eBay but all the rest of the paints I got in America from e7 but I couldn't find um, the chrome sealer. See it? Chrome sealer. Now they have their own chrome. And if this doesn't go well today, I'll test it when I test the full lineup of paints, which uh, the test is coming soon. I'm working on an affiliate link with the company. And when that comes through, we'll do the test. And um, that's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to shake this up. And when you cannot see the chrome, I think we're going to go nuts here. There we go. Okay. See now you can see the liquid in the bottom? Is it? You can see some of the chrome still sticking here. And this stuff is really thin and it really blends really well. Now it's completely gone. You can see the liquid. That's it. You're ready to shoot. Straight out of the bottle into the airbrush. I will show you in a second. And uh, I'm going to spray these using my Badger. Patriot 105. I like to use a larger size nozzle, either this or my Procon Boy 290, either one. I've been using this for the rest of the test. I figured keep it equal. So I put all of them through the same airbrush. So for this test, we will be using those three through this airbrush. However, for the all clad, we're going to shoot it through my Pro Convoy 270 with the uh, 0.3 millimeter needle. That's what we're going to spray this on. Very low air pressure, 15, 12 to 15 PSI, two extremely light coats. I'll show you in a second. All right. Now, before the test begins, a lot of people have been asking. Let's get these out of the way. Get these brushes towards the booth as we are about to begin. Obviously, I've sprayed some already. 
but I'm gonna do one on camera for you guys. Now, a lot of people ask about the mask I use. It took me a while to find this box. I'm lucky I kept it. Um, I keep boxes for a little while in case I gotta return something. This one I forgot about, but I knew it was in the house. And you guys asked me which one I use. I like this Rhino brand, Rhino Smart Solutions. It just fits my, my head well in my face. And um, it comes with two filter cartridge two carbons, the cartridges and the half mask. And here is the mask that I use. You can see the Rhino logo right there. It just fits my head well. I showed it early in the other video. This goes around the back of your head. I don't even know if I can zoom out. There we go. It's a little bit. Sorry, guys. I want to hit the camera on you guys. And that's it. And then this goes around the bottom of your neck. Clips on. Fits my face beautifully. And here are the cartridges. And that's them inside. And uh, when you first get it, you got to preload it, I believe. It's been a while. Yeah, you pop these covers off. They're really tight, too, if I recall when I first did this damn thing. Boy, oh boy, it's tight. Anyway, that's not, that ain't getting by. You got to get a little plier, if I recall, these, these three nubs. But these are, the, these are the pads that came separate. They're even labeled. Yep, here they are. And underneath is the carbon filter. See it inside? So it's a double filtration system. Lasts quite a while. I've had these. I think I've flipped them over once. And uh, because I'm only spraying airbrush, I'm doing little pieces. It doesn't really build up like you're spray painting a car, you know, on a daily basis. It's a, it's a whole different thing. It's not as uh, not as caustic as that. And that's it. And see these lock in on these little grooves. And I got to get it closer to me, guys. And that's it. This is the one I've been using. And uh, I just like it. It just fits my head good. You can adjust where you want the uh, pads. You can have the pads facing down, which I did once. I had them forward once. I said, this doesn't belong here. And then I realized, but you can actually adjust them away from your face. My glasses fit over it. Some guys' glasses didn't. That's why you're going to have to figure out what you want to go with. This is a medium, and uh, it seemed to fit me perfectly. It was recommended by uh, a guy at the uh, auto supply store. And uh, I think I got this on Amazon. Uh, I'll research. I'll put a link below if you guys want to get one. Really cheap. I think it's between 20 and 30 bucks, and it's going to last you a while. And it's pretty comfortable. So anyway, a lot of guys were asking. There it is. That's the mask that I use. And for gloves, a lot of people ask about the gloves. These are my favorite gloves. You know, I don't use them mostly on camera. I use the. I'm using my phone, and I need to touch the screen, and sometimes. You know, yeah, these don't work through that. But when I'm alone working, these are the gloves I use. And I, I bought a small on purpose, even though my hands are kind of large, because I like them to fit skin tight when I'm working and I'm building a model. I, I need to feel the piece. I, I can't take a, a, a real rubbery, uh, loose glove. Now, to each his own. I have a lot of guys who can't wear a glove this tight. I, I purposely bought one this tight. That's how they go on, and you're going to bring your fingers in, and you're going to... You know, when I sit down for the day for building, what I do is I just put these on early and they'll shape right to your fingers. See how nice and tight they are now to your hand? And this way I can manipulate something a little easier than with a floppy glove with these uh, end pieces like this. Usually I can't get the pinky to fit well, but that doesn't matter because I usually use the main index and thumb. And that's it. Those are the gloves that I like to use. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a link below for these two. These were pretty cheap too. These have lasted me a while, almost almost a year this whole year so far I got it early in the in the winter and uh, that's it all right that's my gloves that's my mask let's head over to the booth we're gonna start with the Procon we're gonna start with the chrome and then we're gonna go across the board and we're gonna start with these three and all the rest of these have already been done and we're gonna show you the results let's head over to the booth All right, guys, here we are. Shake it up one more time. Pop her open. Just gonna put a few drops in, that's all it's gonna take. That was way too much right there. All right, let me put that dropper in my acetone. And that's it, let's get this out of the way. 15 PSI. This is a black spoon with a gloss coat. I've already done the other ones over uh, over a all clad gloss black base. I let them dry throughout the week. But this is just to show you guys the chrome going on. Now, this is very light. 
I got this dial down. I'm gonna go a couple, I'm gonna say two, maybe on a three final coat. Watch the first coat. You can't hear the airbrush you know, going, but it's just about chrome now. Check that out. And that's it. That's how easy it is to put the chrome. This bottle will probably last you forever. At least a few kits. Um, if you're wondering the difference. There you go. Yeah. It looks like it did nothing, but we didn't. And the lighter the coat, the better. You just got to be graceful about it. You can go heavy, and um, you end up with uh, the butter knife that I did. Which is that. It looks like it's an actual butter knife, but look how beautiful that came out. And this is a whole different shine, but... show you we're going to go in a little heavier it clouds up and then the clouding disappears but that's it that's the most I would put and that's what I did on every spoon we we're about to test I let it dry overnight before I did the testing let's go in spray a few and go over the results all right first up is mr. color GX 100 super clear 3 uh, Thinned it 50-50 with uh, Mr. S Mr. Leveling Thinner. We got a spoon, and I usually like to take a sample here to make sure I got my mixture right. So I took a flat blue old spoon that I use for testing. I like to go on quick to get a rough idea of how, uh, how it's spraying. And with these lacquers, you like to come in. This stuff is beautiful, huh? Look at that. That's over a color. Here we go over the chrome. Same thing. I'm going to go a little light. And then just come in for the second coat. That's it. All right. That is covered. I am going to let this dry. We're going to go on to the next color, which is the Tamiya. And we'll see how that one works. I'll catch you in the next get -over. one second. All right, up next, as I said, Tamiya X22 Clear. This is their acrylic. Let's uh, test it on this dull piece of, uh, what is this, titanium? Cover's nice. I've had good luck with this. Here we go over the chrome. Make sure there's no dust on it. Just so you guys know, I've tested this lightly. I let it sit. I put multiple coats. It didn't seem to matter no matter what I did. So I just went ahead and did the old clearing it as if I was painting a car. I, I went, uh, I used my standard procedure. Miss coat, second one. I mean, it went on there nice, but it does, until they're dry, I can't tell if it takes the chrome look away, but a lot of these did, which is the point of the video. So, uh, let me uh, clear out the brush, put these aside, we'll test out the chrome sealer from E7 next, I'll catch you right back. Okay, what the next one is a chrome sealer, so I'm not going to test it on a piece of uh, painted, Paint, you know, a painted spoon, so we're just going to go ahead and, and uh, try this stuff. I haven't tried it yet. Again, it might be made for their chrome, I don't know, but I want to try it in this test. And it's the first one that um, didn't have to be thinned, besides the aqua gloss, you know. So we will let this dry. Let's try it on. Uh, you know what? We'll try the aqua gloss. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put. So, I'm going to put a coating of the aqua gloss 
I was going to just do the three paints, but what I'll do is I'll do the aqua gloss too, and then from there on in we'll go over the results. Let me go grab some aqua gloss right now. All right, guys, let's try some aqua gloss. I'm going to show you it going on, even though I've done it before. We have a low air pressure of 15 psi. This is a spare chrome spoon that I. Put aside for just for testing like this. You're gonna go on a quick coat, and it even says put on uh, two medium coats, one to two medium coats. So they want it to go on wet, you know. So it looks cloudy, but it dries nice. You know, it goes on good. Look at that. Let's try it over my uh, heavily plated butter knife. I gotta go this way so it lays flat on it. There it is. It's tough for you guys to see, but it went on good. All right. Now, the secret is you have to clean this out of your airbrush right away. And you gotta use hot water, which I use, and then use your airbrush cleaner. Um, any of these will do airbrush cleaner that are for acrylics. Even uh, my homemade one works great for this too. But you gotta clean it out right away. Let me go put these aside to dry, and we'll go over the results. All right, guys, here it is, the results. And you can see I've been busy testing all of these. And this is what the chrome should look like. All clad, let's get this out of the way. And to start off with, I'm gonna get something completely out of the way that didn't work, and that was this Krylon, which just melted it. Didn't work at all. Um, so I am just going to get this out of here. I have bad luck with Kry Krylon and Rust-Oleum. It just drives me insane. I just have poor luck with it altogether. Um, let's start off with the Aqua Gloss Clear. This is just Aqua Gloss. I wrote on it, and it is perfect. Just like the last one. You're not going to get much... Uh, um, I can't really test these. I've been, I like to let them dry a long time, but my old one I took out and... Uh, it's um, it's perfect. It, it doesn't mark up. It, it doesn't come off with masking tape. It's a, I've done a full test. So there it is, just aqua gloss, and uh, it's pretty close. If not right on, this might be a little different because of the shape of the spoon. This is aqua gloss and 2K. Want the 2K on top of the aqua gloss, and uh, no difference. Except it's probably way more sturdier than anything else because. Uh, you can't beat the durable durability of a 2K. But that is it. It's not the best spoon. I think I dropped it during the test. But that's why you see little marks. And there it is. 2K over Aqua. Just the Aqua Gloss. Aqua Gloss still pretty damn good. This is just a regular one. All right. Let's go to... Metalizer by Testers, the sealer for their metalizer. And this just didn't work. You see, it's just a dull, cloudy mess. It just turned it into like, just, I don't know, like a metallic gray paint. Didn't work at all. Obviously, you could see it there. This was a fail. No good. All right. Vallejo, 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 I say it both ways now, this is metal varnish, and uh, not bad, it's a little duller, um, but not much, I think this is good stuff, um, I've tested this earlier, and it's pretty durable, and um, most of these, after they're fully dry, I, I'm not going to give any trouble as far as durability, you know, it's going to be way better than the chrome anyway, and um, I think this is a good looking, it's, it's not expensive, I can't remember what I paid for this. I got it on Amazon. Um, but look at it. It's pretty close. If you see it in person, there's a slight dullness to it. Just slightly. But it's pretty damn good. Now for the shocker. My first shocker of the test was Vallejo Polyurethane Gloss Varnish. This is a poly. And it did fantastic. Can you see how nice and even it looks? It was just fantastic. 
It's it's super durable, as if I put uh, the urethane 2K, and it's similar to a urethane. Look at that, and here it is against the uh, one untreated. It's just about the same. Fantastic. My first great one besides the Aqua Gloss or the 2K. This is a winner. I will even pop her out so we can go back to it. All right, another shocker, because this was about $3.99. Microgloss, this is an American company. I think they're from California, yeah. Fountain Valley, California. It's a water-soluble. Um, it was a little thick. I think I thinned it a little bit with my uh, thinner, my homemade thinner. But look at that. It's even. It's self-leveled. Um, it is super slick compared to almost every other one. You know, I'm running my fingers across it so you guys can see. It's not marking up. And it's pretty close, if not dead on. So this is another shocker and another winner in the test. Absolutely spot on, right there. I'm guessing even the color of it, it's got to be the same as the Aqua Gloss. Can you see it? It's all the same stuff, the gauzy. I think they're just copying each other's formula at this point. Anyway, it does work. It works. What are you going to do? All right, this is Testers. Uh, I should say Model Master. Gloss clear lacquer finish. This didn't work. Uh, you can see the dullness to it. It's it's kind of rough looking. Looks like it turned everything into like a metal flake again, like a car. So uh, like a car color. Not happy at all. It just didn't work. These pure lacquers over them seem to have given me trouble. Um, the the secret seems to be in uh, in this aqua gloss type of formula. Until you see what I got for you at the end. A little bit of a surprise. This is the gauzy. I think it's the same thing. Same results. A little duller than the aqua gloss. I'm not sure if it can come across on camera, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. I, I like the aqua gloss better. Is this it? Yeah, I like the it seemed to level itself a little better. I'm not sure why. It could have been me, but I shot everything through the same airbrush and the same air pressure. Uh, but it's not bad. But this isn't that cheap. Personally, being so close, I would stay away from it. I think I got the Aqua Gloss for well under 10 bucks. This was not under 10. This was 12 at least, I think I paid for that. Not great. We'll push that back. Keep the winners up front. I'd like that. There we go. All right, we have Tamiya Lacquer. LP9 Clear. Again, um, nice, shiny, very durable, as if it was uh, 2K. However... It, it turned it into this grayish color. It's hard to see here, but it, it gives a heavy metal flake look and not a chrome look. You can see it here. See how the light's blurring the reflection, but it's not blurring in this one? See it? So, not great, but this is probably wonderful for car models because it's really, it's almost like the 2K, to tell you the truth. This is really, really good really good. I think this is what's in their spray cans. X22, this is Tamiya's new, uh, well new to me, their uh, enamel, clear. Um, while it came out mega shiny and real durable, just like the other one, it just turned it to a blacker, <laughs> it really turned it to black chrome. However, it's a nice look. I mean, uh, I wouldn't complain. It, it, it's still good looking. You just lose the chrome appeal of it. It just becomes a more of a black black uh, candy. I guess black candy. Or clear black. See it? You can see it there, the cloudies. Whereas this is more of a reflection. You can see me waving into that. You can't. You can almost see me, but it's very cloudy. So that didn't work at all. Mr. Ho Mr. Color GX100. Lacquer, again, super durable, mega smooth as glass. However, it it did uh, it affected it. It didn't have, you can see the blurries of the reflection. When you can see how sharp the reflection is in the chrome. So this didn't work at all either. However, it is a nice clear. These regular clear lacquers are really nice if you're just going to be, you know, clear coating a, a gumpla. Tamiya X22, this is their acrylic solvent-based acrylic. This is their regular lineup. Um, 
It didn't go as ridiculous as the enamel from Tamiya, where it turned it almost black. Look at the difference. It did, however, take away that nice luster. I mean, I buffed some of these, you know, I didn't want to go nuts. I wanted to see how they look purely out of the bottle. But it's just a dull look. It doesn't have that chrome look. Uh, once again, you can see the blurries and the reflection. Um, but not bad, particularly at, what, 3 bucks a jar? This isn't bad. It, it, you kind of lose it still. But, again, not not bad. There are better results, I mean, particularly the Aqua Gloss. Uh, it just keeps it right there. Can you see that? All right. Tester's Gloss Coat Top Coat. This is very popular among hobbyists, particularly for laying decals over it and then going over it again, sealing it in. It is mega, mega durable, just like a 2K coating. However, it just it messed it up. It, it just looks like silver paint again. You can see it, the chrome. You can see uh, I'm all blurry in the reflection and how dark it is. And on here, you can see me waving. So, not good. Uh, a good dull, a good gloss coat, particularly, I think this was three or four bucks. Look at the size of the jar. I mean, you're getting your money's worth on this, particularly if you're going to do a lot of car kits. And it comes in dull coat, too, which I have. So, it's a good value as far as a gloss coat goes, but it, it, it affected the chrome in a way we don't want. I'm going to skip over that, and we're going to go into Pledge. Now, this is your biggest value. This was uh, Walmart. I think I paid five bucks. Five or four, five or six. Uh, it's in there. It's 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 not a lot, particularly what you're getting there. Uh, straight out of the bottle into the airbrush. Biggest needle you got. That's why I shot all of these through the biggest needle. You should shoot all your clears through the biggest needle you got. I use my Patriot, which is a five. I think it's a point fifty five millimeter. And uh, look at that. How great is that? We are close. Is that awesome? Or is that awesome? And it's strong. You try. I'm trying to mark it up. I couldn't mark it up. You can buff it because it's made to be walked on. For God's sakes, it's a floor. It's a floor gloss. And check it out against the uh, aqua gloss. It's identical. So this is it. The aqua gloss and the 2K. How's that? Fantastic. We. Uh, it's a winner because of the value uh, dollar per what you're getting. I'm going to do a video just on this, so uh, I didn't go into great details with it. And uh, I'll show you how to shoot it. It's pretty easy, but look at it. It's self-leveled. It, I put it in the dehydrator. Fantastic. And um, here we go. Here's my shocker of the test. Unfortunately, it was tough to get, so I didn't really want to test it, but... It, I did get it in a week. I had to buy this in Taiwan or Malaysia. Um, this is the E7. I have a full lineup of paints from them. I'm going to be testing soon. Um, but I got their chrome. They have a, a chrome set. And I, I love testing all the chromes in the market. And I knew they had a chrome sealer, but it was blacked out at my uh, local, I should say local, you know, the, the, uh, the store I got it from in America. And I searched for it online, and it popped up on eBay. It was like 8 bucks, I think, with free shipping. Whatever it was, it was like ten bucks total. I waited about a week, just over a week maybe, and it showed up. And I was home so happy because I'm gonna use it as part of the test now. But I knew it was my first opportunity to give it a shot. It goes on all yucky looking, not like the others. And then um, uh, I could see it was starting to level itself nice. I put it in the dehydrator for literally ten minutes, and it is without a doubt the best I have ever seen. It looks like the spoon as we started. Look at it. Now I can wave and you can see me in both. Thumbs up. How fantastic is this? Now, this literally just came out. I'm not going to... I'm gonna. I'll test the durability later. Maybe I'll do it. And when I do the E7 test, we'll go over durability. It should be durable anyway. I heard it was. But it's way durable than just the chrome, that's for sure. I mean, I'm scratching it now. And I literally took it out about 10 minutes ago. So... This is my favorite. Uh, I will put a link through eBay uh, below if you guys want to buy a bottle. But maybe the guy I got this from, uh, the rest of the E7 paints in America, will have it in stock by the time um, this rolls around. I'll check again. And uh, I'm working with them to uh, 
be a kind of a sponsor affiliate, so uh, I'll tell you who it is soon. Anyway, this was the I think this is the winner. It just it, there's no difference. I got no difference. Whatever this is, and this isn't even like this aqua stuff, the aqua gloss or anything. It's a clear lacquer. Can you see it? So somehow they figured it out. I shot it straight out of the jar. You saw me spray it. Uh, very happy. I just labeled E7 because I know what it was. Um, the floor pledge, very good. Outstanding. Uh, the aqua gloss in and of itself, outstanding. With 2K over it, outstanding. Uh, where are we? Oh, and the poly. I like this poly a lot. Here's the poly. Yep, that's the poly. Here's the micro gloss. These are my favorites. All right, here we go. The aqua gloss, this polyurethane from Vallejo. Micro gloss. I can come more in the front here. Here we go. How's that? E7 and the floor pledge. Take your choice. Personally, this is without a doubt the best. This is the best cheap alternative. This was also cheap. If you're in America, this is pretty easy to get. Also, this is easy to get at Walmart. Aqua gloss. Uh, I really don't have a problem with it still. It's a little duller. Whereas, uh, it's hard to see in person, but this is a little sharper. This retained the full chrome effect as close as you're going to get. As close as you're going to get. But, as you can tell by the pictures here, they're all pretty close. This is probably last place. It's a little bit of a haze to it. Whereas the polyurethane from Vallejo is perfect. It's also perfect. This is as close as it gets to this one, I think. Wow. Anyway, that's the test. And uh, we separated the bad from the good. And here is your choices. And there's a regular one. And there's your choices. It, it, uh, you got a lot to choose from now, and I think uh, any of these will serve you, will serve you well. Uh, I don't think you really have to go on with the 2K. Um, it, it, it's a big investment, and I think it's the same results. So uh, I, I would stick with uh, any of these five, and uh, uh, I, that's it. I have nothing more to say. I'm just uh, quite shocked by some of these, and uh, I'm glad I did test them. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this test. It took a little while, but um, I tried to be thorough in all this. I sprayed everything using the same air brush, the same air pressure, and um, I got the same results. I dried; they all dried the same amount of time. And um, that is my choice in the front row. All right, guys. Anyway, thanks for uh, waiting for this video. It's taken me a while to put this one together. I am going to do a separate video just with glosses in the future, and we'll be testing that over, you know, colored spoons and uh, car kits. And uh, obviously some of these other ones are going to come in way ahead uh, 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 of this test. Anyway, please, if you haven't already, subscribed, like the video. Uh, it helps us a lot. I hope to have uh, some coupon codes for you guys soon with a big site from America and uh, a little bit of a sponsorship. I'm hoping. It's looking good. I got the approval. I just got to get everything set up. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you probably sometime in the middle of the week with another test.